заняли линию огульного отрицания обвинений, содержащихся в украинском заявлении. Они просто утверждают, что эти обвинения не соответствуют действительности. Uh, he said that um, there was firing to reflect on what they all add up to. They add up to a charge or insinuation that His Majesty's government in the United Kingdom are trampling on freedom and democracy in Greece, helping her to persecute minorities, and inciting her to attack her neighbors. This charge is accompanied, uh, I won't say supported, by slanders on the British Army, which I most hotly resent. That is one phrase of Mr. Mandelowski's which I would heartily endorse. He said, it is the cooperation of the great powers which is the principal guarantee of peace. Nothing could be truer. But cooperation involves, amongst other things, consultation. Cooperation can hardly be achieved by open accusations, openly, and unexpectedly made. It is significant, I think, that His Majesty's government in the United Kingdom have not yet seen fit to resort to this method, and they still hope that other means may prove efficacious for realizing that cooperation which must be at the base of any constructive effort for the maintenance of peace and security. I should like to put that right immediately. Uh, Mr. D'Amico has misheard or misunderstood entirely what I said. He must remember that in the course of speeches that have been made by the delegate of the Ukraine, the British Army have been accused of having a part in murder, torture, burning, and also being used as an instrument for imposing on the Greek population a, govern a government, a form of government, which they do not wish to have. Uh, I don't say that Mr. Gromyko repeated all those charges himself, but in general he supported the delegate of the, uh, of the uh, Socialist Soviet Ukrainian Republic, and a uh, great many of the things that he said about the intervention of the direct in interference of the British troops in Greece would certainly lead one to suppose that he did endorse those accusations. Now, I must re read what I said. I've got here the text. I read it in the first place. As a matter of fact, I had a written text. I will read it again slowly. I said that I must also crave your indulgence if in the course of it, that's in, in the discussion, I have manifested any heat or indignation. The particular allegations made by Mr. Manulski, such as they are, are not very palpable and not very difficult to answer. But I must ask the Security Council to reflect on what they all add up to. They add up to a charge or a dissimulation that His Majesty's Government of the United Kingdom are trampling on freedom and democracy in Greece, helping her to persecute minorities, and inciting her to attack her neighbors. That is what has been charged against His Majesty's government and the British Army. I went on. This charge is accompanied, I won't say supported, by slanders on the British Army, which I most hotly resent. If I have spoken strongly on this point, let me ask the Ukrainian delegate and the delegate of the Soviet Union what they would have said if I had charged the Red Army with similar crimes participation in punitive expeditions, the imposition of a regime which would